Okay, Ivo and I are going to channel on this. Change of rules, guys. We're in 4D. When I was in the 12 steps, we were taught to do inventory on our problems so that we could finally get some peace. Yes, we made amends to others preferably face to face, for our part in things, but it was always emphasized that the one who benefits from this amends making was us, they could take it any way they wanted. That was 3D. This is 4D. The rules have changed. Being 5D means you're aware of the law of one and you work for the good of the collective consciousness, recognizing you're a part of that, but I don't believe that you as an individual gain any inordinate sense of entitlement in this recognition. In fact what I believe 5D is about is sacrificing so that others can enjoy what you have. Let's face it, the galactics wouldn't be here if they were selfish, would they? So, 4D is smack in the middle of that. I believe when you resolve a problem, now you have to do it not only for yourself but resolve it so that the other party benefits as well. I was told that my neighbors who steal from my garden at my old place are to be considered in the last plant I have there, my rhubarb plant. I was going to move it to the small patch I have here so nobody can touch it, but I've decided it gets water where it is, and if I take the first batch of rhubarb and freeze it, they can have whatever grows afterwards. This, I was told, was a 4D solution. Ivo, I'm sure you told me this, being my guide and all, but can we have your comments please? Ivo, my love, the fourth density aligns with the heart. You have had an open heart primarily throughout your lifetime, although you have learned to close it often in response to lower frequency behaviors that you were exposed to, and this of course, was the intention of the Dark Ones by introducing lower frequency humans into your life. Our intention, that of the Light, was that you learn to keep your heart open despite the way that you are being treated, and you have been slow to learn this. However this is the path through the fourth dimension. Me, you want to live here? Ivo, I see it was difficult, my dear. However when one closes the heart instead of allowing love to flow to those who annoy, or even those who seek to destroy you, as your parents did, this puts you at a disadvantage. You are a human and you are love. Of course in the third dimension you were taught that you would be crazy to accept and love someone who has treated you so malevolently. This is taught to you, of course, as a means of keeping disharmony going throughout your world, and you learned this lesson, following the examples of those who enacted this for you. Had you not taken on any rancor at these malicious acts, in fact you would have come through it all with no scars but this was not the case. Now that you are in the fourth dimension, it is imperative that you all learn to love everyone, even your worst enemy. This is what Jesus did, and this was his path of ascension. No, my love, he is not special. He is the one who has enacted for you the lesson you need to learn now. Follow his example, not that of your parents. That is why Jesus came to help you. To give you this message so that you too, would be untouched by negativity upon your world. So, yes, the solution is different now in the fourth density. Third dimensional solutions of selfishness are not allowable anymore. As you noted, the problems will stay with you until you make an effort to create a mutually satisfactory response. If you hold rancor or resentment, it is because the solution you have sought is of too low frequency. Me, what about my neighbor next door, Mr. Fancy Pants, who's in his own little drama of being Mr. Sexy Man? He figures he can sneak over and get laid whenever his wife is in bed. How do I work that out? If he gets mad at me for saying no, am I supposed to give him what he wants? Ivo, in fact not, my love. It would work in this way that you say no and no matter his response to you, that you do not become angry with him. He needs to learn his lesson and you have been set up to teach him, however it would be best if, in future, if you two are still on speaking terms. This is an acceptable fourth dimensional solution. Me, what if he doesn't do it, though? Ivo, then you cannot do anything about it. Me. How does this make it different from my other neighbor who steals my vegetables from my garden? 
I have to give him some of my rhubarb after I've taken what I want. I can't hoard the plant for myself. Ivo, this is a different situation. Reference the Ten Commandments. Me, there's no rhubarb on there. Ivo, it references adultery on it and this would be in line with your neighbor's intentions. These are the exceptions. Understand by the way that you feel about the rhubarb that you are okay with the situation. Me, I am. I can live with that. He can have some. He doesn't even have to ask, because he won't. Ivo, and so, you accept him as he is. That is a major step forward because you have high expectations of people who cannot deliver. Me, I do. How about some more examples? Ivo, this was one of theft, a particular problem you have with others. You must switch your thinking to that of abundance, because you have, in that rhubarb plant, more rhubarb than you would eat in a season. That plant is giving of itself as nature does, and you have more than you would want in one plant. That is abundance. Me, true. Another example, then. Ivo, you're driving. Me, oh yes. Ivo, when you drive with your music so loud, you are not serenading the city. Me, it's just a joke. Ivo, people are annoyed at the sound. Me, it's only for a second. Ivo, my love, you are on an ascension path. Perhaps some consideration of others would be in order. Do not take your own need of hearing deep purple at a high volume, to be the only need. Me, I love loud music. Ivo, then play it loud for yourself but do not keep turning it up so you can hear it down the block, my love. Then there is your impatience. When you are impatient of others, you are being selfish. You do not own the world, and you must share it with others who sometimes take a long time. Me, yeah, at the drive through All he was doing was ordering hamburgers, what does that take? Ivo apparently a lot for some people. You were not very patient. Me, I was hungry. Ivo, and this is another thing, my love, these are excuses. Yes, you were hungry but in fact who is in charge, you or your stomach? Me, my stomach. Ivo, I persist in saying to you, my dear, these are excuses. You are in charge of your behavior at all times, and it must be carried out in such a way now that you are considerate of others and do not display any ill will towards them, for whatever reason. You are leaving the third dimension and evolving beyond your learning, and this new behavior must be practiced. Me, got it? Yeah, I guess Jesus wasn't a loud music loving hothead, was he? Ivo, in the case of the bank who overcharged you on interact charges during the COVID period where you cannot use cash to pay for any of your charges, in fact, you can take responsibility for your half of the problem and admit that you could have bought coffee cards to purchase coffee rather than incur interact charges for a $2 cup of coffee. The other is that your salad purchases can also be purchased with a card. This was shown to you so that you will take financial responsibility for your spending. Many do not take responsibility for their spending, and some shoot off irate letters to bank CEOs rather than look at their options. This is blaming, my love, and this is third dimensional behavior. You are not seeing your part in it. Me, Ivo, I'm so lucky to have you. LOL. Ivo, you are indeed. You must take responsibility for your spending and do not blame when you fall short. You understand that this current shortage was caused by a number of things, and that you had indeed created the situation of the large car maintenance bill and Merlin getting feline herpes. You do ask, what if? And this must be halted. You asked, what if I have a huge car bill and the cat gets sick, and this is what happened. These things, too, your thoughts must also be taken responsibility for otherwise you will create your fears. And for those now living through coronavirus scares, this is particularly so. Do not fear it as you may create the need to suffer it, or some other undue circumstance created by the New World Order plan to control you. Do not allow yourselves to be controlled by fear. 
This is the fourth dimension, and mutuality and a more loving approach to life is the way forward. Not fear. Fear is third dimensional. You are leaving fear and opening the heart to embrace love of all others. Practice this now and this will aid your ascension. Me, thanks, Ivo. Singing, smoke on the water. Ivo, it is unfortunate their choice of music but these men are very talented musicians indeed. I do not enjoy this taste in music that you have, but thankfully it is not your only musical outlet. Your love of Richie Blackmore's guitar solo on Black Knight is particularly disturbing, but I understand it exhilarates you and so I tolerate it. I must ride near you when you are in the car, my disco ball as you call it is always near you. It rides in the back seat of your car with you as does Merton ride above you with his ship. He too, must listen to your music. Would it be possible for you to change your music from time to time to give us a break? Me, I can put on three dog night. I like them too. Ivo, this would be acceptable, my dear. There is more psychedelica you enjoy so these songs would also be more palatable for our ears. Thank you my love. Me, okay, thanks Ivo. I'll buy some psychedelic 60s and load it to my MP4 player.